Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Evadon 2 The Corruption. So yeah, um, we witnessed an unfortunate scene at the end of last episode. Silke was uh, smashed to pieces, or at least looked that way, um, by that ogre hunter whose name, name I forgot. And she's either dead or, uh, well, very near death, I had to, if I had to guess. Um, but anyway, either way, the ogre did take her body with him, so we can say for sure. Uh, I guess we might go and save her at some point? Oh, hello. Maybe? Or at least look after her. Look if she's actually dead. But first we have to report the grim news to our uh, home base uh, of Rockridge Keep, I can guess. Oh, hello. Yeah, Rockridge Keep. The road south of Rockridge Keep lies before you, clear and unguarded. You are where you need to be, but you didn't get here without great cost, as I just explained. It's time to go and warn the keep. Uh, yeah, tutorial. I also leveled up. Nice. I guess I might as well take a look at that. Uh, dexterity. Um, <laughs> makes special Tinker Mage attacks like grenades more effective. I guess strength still uh, affects my my general uh, normal attacks. Well, wait, does dexterity also missile attacks? Hmm. I wonder if I should maybe try and focus more on ranged attacks. Not really sure what the Tinker Mage excels in. I mean, he ha he does have his um, utility spells, his bolt flingers and stuff, turrets, I guess. Uh huh huh huh. Higher. Yeah. Well. Okay. So leveling up this will make the turret better. Occasionally spray razors at level three. That sounds nice. Razor Flinger at level 6. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade this. So, I don't know. Um, grenades, yeah, sure. That would be nice, but if I have to focus on one of these branches... I think I want to focus on these turrets, because they make... they really make the Tinker Mage unique, in my opinion. Tool use. I mean, I will probably have a shadow. Um, what's their name? A shadow blade. Uh, well, uh, you know the rogue type, assassin type, um, in my party. So I don't know if I want to invest in tool use personally, because it's uh, enough for one character. For yeah, one character in the party to have some form of lock picking skill. A mage. I think um, has that as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, question still remains. I have one point to spend, so I guess I'm going to put that into dexterity just to start out. Um, I probably want to go strength, dex, and endurance int. I mean, uh, all the skills have have, um, or all the all the attributes have effects that benefit every single class, like uh, intelligence causes enemy mental attacks to miss more often. Sure, but that's not good enough for me to actually put points into that, I don't think. Um, and as for these, I think I want to improve my bolt flinger first. Blade crab makes my melee attacks more likely to hit. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Well, the attack's more likely to hit and more damaging, and this does the same thing. Okay. I guess that answers that. Uh, yeah, I can increase my wrist flinger training as well, but I have I have at least two skills that directly in improve my melee damage, so I think I'm going to take advantage of that. So, Oh, I have another point to spend. Right, um... You know what? This takes two to act, uh, activating a new spell or new skill. Um, takes two points, so I think I want to do that first. The turret is already pretty good, and but it is a limited limited in how often I can use it and how long it stays up. So 
Well, my um, my own attacks are always available, right? That's my reasoning here. Also, a portion of battle does haste, regeneration, and spine shield, which is really nice. Gonna put that on my hotbar. It's one of the items I used um, most of in the previous game. So say, Rockridge keeps health. Yeah, I kind of knew that already. Okay, well, enough lingering. Uh, right, all locations here of Vernaba. Good. Um, these symbols are new. I don't know what they signify exactly. I am currently here and I want to go there. Wait, no, the other way around. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, wait, where? Oh, couldn't really get a good look. Um,. Alright, it was a harrowing trip here, running running down side roads, avoiding bands of ogres and wildroam rebels. But you made it. The spires of Rock Ridge Keep rise from the stone peaks above you to the south. At last, you can enter and give your report to Commander Odile. Then you see the lines of smoke rising from the keep. Uh-oh. The wind occasionally brings the sounds of screams and metal clashing on metal. You finally note the many fresh footprints in the mud of the road. There is a battle going on here. To give your report, you will need to pass through the battle lines. If the keep even still stands. Wait, to the west, okay. Uh, Alright, we are here. And I'm supposed to go there. That's not the west, though. Let's scout the area. Okay, I was gonna say ogre patrol? No. <laughs> Just huge rats. Oh, nice. Yeah, ranged attacks are surprisingly powerful. I kind of had forgotten about that. The seized road end. Though. Maybe I can reach it before it infects me. Nope. <laughs> Obviously not. Uh, I guess I should have summoned the turret, huh? Yeah, I should have done that when I still had time. I mean, I didn't completely waste my turn or anything. Since I did attack at a distance. One of your characters has been afflicted with poison. Or acid, which is a stronger version. Uh, damage, I don't know. Yeah, well. Doesn't matter now. The fight is over, so I'm gonna regenerate regenerate anyway. Uh, we did get the animal skin. forgot to put that in my uh, junk bag immediately. Oh, nice. Here we get some loot. Uh, wait. Lockpicks. Don't mind if I do. That's not worth anything and I can't use it. So it's worth even less. Hmm. Wait. So is the... Is the fortress like behind these or inside these these mountain walls, natural rock walls, and the entrance is further to the west? Maybe that's what the sign meant. Oh no, this looks like like it. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. So I the commander is probably here, but this might be the entire uh, the, the entire map might basically be. The, the fort. Also, I don't know why I tried to run right into that guy. Guess I'm gonna win still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy enough. It was tactically unsound, though. Yeah, this is a bit closer than it should have been. But I guess this early on, it's okay to be a bit reckless. Potion of recovery. Right, that uh, resets cooldowns. Also, always keeping a, trying to keep an eye out for uh, switches on the walls. Oh, as you walk around this stand of trees, uh, what stand of trees exactly? 
Well, one of these, I suppose. Uh, a woman catches sight of you. She is human in her thirties, exhausted and covered with scratches. She is clad in steel armor and her sword is in her hand. When she sees you, she waves and runs to greet you. Can we see her on the map? I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, as she gre as she gets close, you see that she has a familiar symbol on the chest of her armor. She is a blade master of the Kva, and the symbol marks her as a hand of Avadon. She is a member of the most fearsome elite band of warriors task tasked to defend the pact, and she's determined to speak with you. Okay. Oh, there she is. Kalida. Hmm, I don't think I know her from the first game. She doesn't really seem familiar. The Blade Master approaches you, sword in hand. When she gets close enough to see you clearly, she nods. I wasn't expecting to find you, but I'm glad I did. You are a Tantuo, yes? Uh, yes, I am a Tantuo. She nods. I am glad to hear it. I am Kalida, Blade Master and Hand of Evadon. She gives your, you a casual salute with a nailed with a mailed hand. How did you know who I am? Commander Odile gave me di gave me descriptions of his scouts before he sent me out. What are you doing here? Slipping through the enemy assault, looking for scouts to rescue and isolated foes to slay. A hand of Evadon goes where she is needed. I'm trying to get to the keep. And so you shall. Odile will want to see you, and I will make it happen. Come, the gaze of Evadon watches over you now. You are a hand of Evadon? Something very old, pfft, something very odd happens to Kalida when she, when you ask the question. Well, can't read. She opens her mouth to respond, then she freezes. Her eyes glaze over for for several seconds. She stands perfectly still, and then she starts moving again. She looks confused for a moment before saying simply, "I am." Um, are you all right? She shows no sign of understanding what you are referring to. Only a few scratches. I had to dispatch some rebels on the way out here. Okay, uh, well, what do you do when you're not saving me, I suppose? I hunt the foes of the pact. I use the power and privilege given me by Redbeard to hound our enemies, hound our enemies without restraint. Um, well, I, I guess I welcome your assistance for now. Kalida nods. I'm glad, not that you could turn it aside. If a hand of Evadon decides on an act, it will act. Uh, that act will occur. I was traveling with a scout named Silke who fell to a Titan attack. Ah, my condolences. I received her description. This knowledge should be passed on to Odile. Um, do we have a plan? Go west and enter the Keep Gate, killing all who stand in our way. No foe of the pact will live, unless battle would mean your our assured death. Then we will run and find another way. Okay. You continue up the steep road toward Rockridge Keep. Kalida moves to walk at your side. I've been joined by a blade master. Blade masters are skilled with blades. Who would have thought? Can wear heavy armor and can use war cries to strengthen their allies. In combat, she's under your control. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. And she can level up. Uh, guess, I guess she retroactively got experience for the enemies we killed, or I killed, while solo. Um, I suppose she already has strength 5. I think I want to make her a bit more tanky for the time being. Now, Path of the Blade. Pretty good. She does not have Path of the Shield yet. Hmm. For the time being, that only increases resistance to magical damage, interestingly. Uh, I guess it must have been that way in the first game, probably. Because these. The skill tree looks very much like I remember. Not that I specifically remember all the, the exact stats of every single skill, of course. Um, so for the time being, it would not make her really that much more effective as a tank, if she even... Well, you know what? Maybe I should take a look at her equipment first. Uh, like this. Oh, well, so much for making her a tank, huh? 
She comes really ill-equipped for a Hand of Avalon, I gotta say. Wish I had saved a sword for her. Where did I see that bow? Oh, yeah, yeah I remember. So I should probably at least uh, go back and give her that. Well, I mean... Yeah, for the time being, uh, she does have a shield now, so there is that. Um, right, endurance, and I guess I'm gonna unlock that just so she has it. Right, the rat's nest. I think that's where the bow was. Let's give that to her. Equip her with it. So we both have a ranged attack now. Definitely a good thing. Some bones on the floor, how lovely. Some more rats. Um, right, she can't reach that, right? So I'm gonna move her a bit closer. And shoot the rat. Well, okay, at least one of them chose to attack her instead. Yeah, well, she definitely needs a better weapon. That's for sure. Wait. And the fight first. Put that in the junk bag. Already have the shield. But I guess it's nice that they... I can only assume that the, the devs hand, um, put that there on purpose for her to pick up. As you approach the Rock Ridge Keep, uh, you meet a band of warriors fleeing the other way. I didn't see those, but I'm gonna take the game's word. Uh, wretches, Wildrun, Raiders, and a wounded ogre fleeing the keep. Wait, oh, those are the warriors I see. Gotcha. Um, they stop and size you up, clearly interested in simply walking around you and heading to safety. Exhausted from your journey, you consider letting them pass. But then Kalida raises her blade, her dagger. What is before me, she shouts. Foes of the Pact! The only penalty for your offenses is death! Hands of Evadon clearly have their own way of approaching these situations. Well, I'm personally okay with that. Although, if I was thinking, you know, in character, I would probably uh, consider her very insane. Uh, should be. Oh, well. She did reach them, but not in time to also attack, unfortunately. Um. Okay, the Wounded Ogre is still pretty tanky. But she should be able to at least keep their attention for the time being. Uh, maybe she can. Uh, well, she just doesn't deal a lot of damage in general. And also, I should probably use her skills, shouldn't I? Uh, challenge... Hmm. Right. This is actually kind of useful. Also, she can heal, which is good. I'm gonna put her uh, Savage Blow there, though. And her healing skill there. Alright. Uh, maybe I should try to finish one of these guys off, so... Ah, well... Not quite, but almost. Good. One, two, three... See, the problem is I don't really know the path my character is going to take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... If I... Do it like this. That way I can make sure that he actually ends up with more, uh, with enough AP to attack. Um, uh -huh, regeneration and shield chan. Yeah, sure. There's only the ogre left, but might as well.
And... Ah. Turret missed. Main character gets the kill. Awesome. Didn't they drop anything? Huh. I thought I saw something specifically drop from the ogre. Oh. We're not done here. And... Turret? Yeah. I guess it was just money dropping. More enemies? Is that a wolf? A wolf? Oh, there are quite a few more enemies. Uh, you know what? Wow. I keep underestimating the power of the razor disc. And um, I was... I'm um, purposely... Whoops staying back here to lure the enemies into the range of my bolt flinger, which just despawned. It's only active for 12 turns, and I obviously didn't count the turns here. Also, I don't know how quickly turns pass when you're out of combat. Because summoned creatures uh, do not automatically disappear upon upon exiting combat, but they do still stay up for a moment. So I guess in the background the turns must still uh, be counted. So she already has the leather jerkin, but no boots. Let's change that. Okay. I was done looking around here, I wasn't sure. Is that? No, that's not a button, that's just... Oh, it is! Okay, that was... much bigger than I expected. I thought that might be some kind of plaque to read, or anything. Something like that. Whoops. Um, dried meat, 9 to 21. Wow, that's even better than just meat. Well... I guess if I'm gonna take one type of healing item with me, it's gonna be dried meat then. And also, these are chainmail boots, which I could use, actually. Um, but I should probably give them to my fighter character. Um. Oh, a young hellhound. Thankfully, it's only a young one. I think that. Uh, I think it's probably still capable of uh, doing like a, a breath attack if I let it. Why don't you challenge? Oh. Still decided to attack Atantua. Nice crit. You know what? Nice. Wow. Now there are quite a few enemies here for me to fight. Oh. Crap. I thought I... Well. Never mind. Thought I had my melee weapon out and wanted to meant to change to my ranged weapon, but I had it exactly the other way around. Also, oh, it's a young dire wolf. Well, okay then. Right. Got some animal skin. Got some uh, steel dagger. Oh, well, guess that's an upgrade to her regular one. She also has no pans, right? So let's fix that. Did I mention that she's she came pretty ill prepared for a hand of Evadon? Ill equipped, I guess.
Is this the entrance? Oh yeah, it must be. I didn't even realize. Wow, this does not look too good. Uh, well, I'm also... I was also almost literally done with exploring this corner of the map, so let's quickly finish that up. Yeah, looks like... Oh, wait, never mind. Somehow I overlooked this rat's nest. Uh, potion of health, I guess. I should probably give one to her. But that should be it. Yeah. Well, except for that little... Wait, where is that? Oh, that's, like, still on the map, but in the loading zone, so never mind. Fortunately, I can uh, quickly go, quickly navigate on the map. That's okay, though. Oh, do I see a sword on the ground? Oops, wrong button. Uh, no, it's just a dagger, never mind. You and Kalida enter the north gate of Rock Ridge Keep. The evidence of an attack is everywhere. You see dead wretches, scorch marks, and several shattered walls. This is as far as the rebel assault reached. They did some damage, killed some soldiers, and fled back into the hills. Kalida surveys the damage briefly. More damage to report to Avedon when I return. Minor, but worrying. Why so worrying? Because wretches are like ants. See one today, and you will see fifty tomorrow. There are dead wretches, but no humans. For some reason, the wretches and other humanoids are serving the rebels. In return, the rebels sent them to die first. She runs her fingers through her hair, failing to bring any order to it. Don't worry. When the real attack comes, the shamans will be along in force. When will you return to Abaddon? She starts to answer, but then she stops. Stops talking, stops walking. She freezes in place for several seconds. Then she starts moving again. What just happened? Kalida looks embarrassed. Did I... pause again? Yes. I apologize. It happens from time to time when I think about Avedon. Since I am a hand, and thus always out in the field, it does not matter. Do not let it concern you. Why does it happen? It is a private matter, and hands of Avedon are not generally questioned by outsiders. That must cause problems. It has affected the range of missions I have been sent on, yes. But I am not concerned as long as I can still serve Avedon. <laughs> so, uh, better make sure no enemies learn of that, or else they just have to yell, Avedon, and she will just stop, or <laughs> just ask her questions about Avedon, and she will just freeze in place and be slaughter slaughtered, you know. That seems like a pretty big handicap. Uh, so, when are you returning? As soon as I can. Events here need to be reported. I will go as soon as I have taken you to Odile and met with my colleague. Your colleague? His name is Yannick, a fellow hand. He will most likely continue here while I report back. He is camped with the soldiers at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to travel with one afflicted as you are. No. Why would I say that? That's cruel. Uh, well, let's continue then. Agreed. I will see you through. Commander Odile's tower is to the east. We must proceed. Right. Um, I was just about to check this guy. Check this guy out. Did I? No. I have some lanterns with me. Don't need any candles. Thank you very much. Oh. There you go. Oh, these are worth 30. I think I'm neglected taking one with me earlier. Do you want to talk to me? No. Just moved toward me randomly. You meet one of the soldiers of Rockridge Keep. Uh, you're familiar with most of their faces, but you haven't had time to be on a first-name basis with mo more than a few. Still, the guard is happy to talk briefly with a fellow warrior. You trade tales of the recent rebel attack and share gossip about what might happen next. Then you're on your way. Okay. Also, you enter the central courtyard of Rockridge Keep. Many soldiers are camped here. The pact has been reinforcing Rockridge Keep, sending fresh troops and supplies. There are three towers around the courtyard, and the road leads up to the east, toward the commander's headquarters. The recent attack has put them all in a state of shock. 
none of them thought that the rebels were strong and confident enough to strike at their base. Now they know different. Most of the warriors are young, but one but one aging man in a long robe sits by the walkway to the east. None of the younger soldiers go near him. Hmm. Where is he? To the east, you said. I guess... Oh, that must be Yannick. Yeah, sure, makes sense. So... She, uh, he is a mage of Evadon, then. Obviously, I'm going to explore the entirety of Rockridge Keep before heading to my commander to report. Finding hidden treasures like that one lockpick in a remote barrel. What is this? It's a different area. Stairs down? Oh. Yep, there are stairs down. Let's see. Scout Lore. Okay, I guess it's her name. There is a scout of the Wildrealm sitting by this fire, eating a quick bowl of stew before returning to her patrol. Her name is Scout Lore. You barely know her, but she was a close friend of Silke. Oh. When she sees you, she says, Greetings, Atantu. I heard about your loss. Please sit and join me. Wait. How did you... I mean, I guess I'm. Uh, the game is expecting me to go to the commander first and then explore. So by the time, by that time, she might have heard it from someone. I don't know. Um, would you like to talk about Silky? Laura slowly nods. I would. We were close friends. We came from the same tribe in the north, far from rebel lands to this chaos. To this chaos, I know that you were the last one she traveled with. I would like to hear anything you could tell me. Well, I guess at this point we're... Seems like we're uh, considering her dead. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, what should I tell her? She was competent and loyal, I think. From the short time that I knew her. I, as a player, I mean, my character knew her better, I suppose. So she acted very oddly near the end. Did she? Hmm, not specific. Not, not. I don't. I wouldn't say that. Took grievous blows. Her survival was unlikely. Oh, wait. She was struck and carried off. I don't know if, she, if the scout lived or died. Yeah, that's more like it. Then I will be a fool and choose hope. Silky was a hardy soul, the best of the will realm. I think Silky lived. If you learned the truth one way or the other, I hope you will let me know. Uh, right. I will. Uh, tell me about this keep, I guess. It is unfamiliar. I have been here months, been here for months, and yet I cannot get used to living inside walls of stone. Even with the risks of the patrols, it is, it is good to wonder. I'd like to know more about the contested lands. Laura shakes her head. I share with my people the desire for these lands, but I am no rebel. I would rather not s not say more. I follow my orders and do my work, that is all. Why are these lands so important to the Wildrealm? For centuries, we hunted here. We buried our dead. The Kva would fill these lands with cities of stone. When we... She stops herself. No, this is not the time or the place. Tell me about the rebels. They are a, a wound in our people. Our brothers and sisters, torn from the Wild Realm by the rebel Constina. What few freedoms we have to gain are not worth this not worth this loss. It would be better if she had never been born. Alright. I guess that's all for now. Yeah, we can still talk about this, okay. Uh, she was competent and loyal. Yeah. You tell Lauren the tale of your final time with Silky. She nods and smiles. Yes, that matches the Silky, I know. Alright. Well, it looks like it's about time to end this episode. Um, maybe I'll look around this. Well, there's another named NPC. Might be a, another lengthy dialogue. Can I loot this? No, I cannot. Not without stealing, which I'm not going to do. Um, 
Yeah, let's talk to him, I guess. A w another Wildrome scout sits cross-legged and stares into the fire. His spine is perfectly straight, and his hair is lined with several long, dignified streaks of grey. When you approach, he motions for you to sit across from him, and uh, not turning his eyes from the blaze. When you are seated, he looks up at you. Greetings, Atantuo. I know that your report must go to the commander, but I would also hear of your ordeal in the woods. The loss of Silky is a great wound, both to our for both, both to our forces and our spirits. Um, complete report? I don't think that's necessary. I give a brief report, mainly saying what happened to Silky. Watcher Karel listens somberly to the tale of your narrow escape and the fate of Silky. He notes the many details you leave out, but he chooses not to press you. A good scout has fallen, and yet... Silky was carried off? Perhaps there is a glimmer of hope. Thank you for this knowledge. I am grateful that you took the time before you begin your new journey. Now what else would you have of me? Um... How are you dealing with the raid? We are recovering from it as best we can. My scouts patrol the woods, looking for signs of a new attack. They stay close to Rockridge, so that they can alert us quickly. Tell me about the Contested Lands. The Contested Lands? Yes, so they are called. For centuries, a hunting ground and sacred burial place for the Wildrome. Now simply an oddly shaped area on the map. On a map. <laughs> they are a place where I fight my people as fellow citizens of the Pact plot against me. These lands are now a place of bitterness. Uh, you said someone is plotting against you? Watcher Denise, in the next tower to the east. A bitter partisan for the Kva. He thinks me a traitor and liar. And he makes no secret of his desire to see me expelled from our gates. Uh, why is Denise so bitterly set against you? It is enough that I am a warrior of the Will Realm in a position of power. He thinks all of us are disloyal, regardless of our record. Luckily, our commander is wiser. Has Denise always wanted you expelled? Not always. It started when I was promoted to head scout. Um, what do you think of Denise? Is he loyal to the pact? He is Kva first and pact citizen second. From birth, all Kva are taught to be loyal to their code. Pact laws are an afterthought for them. He is not smart enough to throw off his prejudices. What would change Denise's mind about you? He's quick to answer. I could save his life a hundred times over and he still would never trust me. Well, that may well be the case. Watcher Corral sits and stares into the fire. He has no uh, he has no maps or records surrounding him. He doesn't need them. The scouts whisper that every detail of this region, every hill, path and fallen branch rests in his head. Hill and path? Sure. Fallen branch? Seems like a like an exaggeration, I'm not sure. Um, is there anything I can do for you? For a moment he seems tempted to take your offer, then he says, There is something someone can do for us, but I don't have the rank necessary to give you orders. If someday, if someday you have a measure of freedom, return. Until then, I will not anger the commander. Okay, gotcha. So once I have been recruited to Avedon, he'll give me a quest. Nice. Um, I think... Oh, tell me about the rebels, I guess. Carol's eyes flick toward you for a moment, looking for signs of suspicion. Seeing none, he says, I share with all of the Wildrum great sorrow over the loss of our traditions. I also know that this great prize brings greater safety in the arms of the Pact. I am loyal to the Pact, no matter what Denise says. Um, right. That's all. Okay, so we... Did, uh, we've, we we learned a little bit more about the the background here, story wise, and uh, explored a part of the fortress. But we'll continue all of that next time. Probably finish exploring the fortress and finally talk to our commander and continue um, to advance the plot. So, um, but that's for next time and. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Till then, have a wonderful time, and bye-bye.